Dan senituti mak. Hello, my friends. Nuwako magantik, my relatives. My name is Randy Moore, and I'm here to tell you a quick story about love and compassion, kindness. So, <clears throat> this story is called Grandfather Bear. No, sorry, Grandfather Buffalo. Grandfather Bear is another story, very powerful story. But this one is called Grandfather Buffalo. <clears throat> Here we go. A long time ago, in this area, in this area that we call Treaty 6, <clears throat> there was a tribe. And in that tribe, there were two orphan children, uh, a little boy and a little girl. And they were raised by the village. But sometimes... Times can be tough, right? Food is scarce, scarce, and so these little children, you know, they go teepee to teepee to teepee being raised by the family. But sometimes there wouldn't be enough food, <clears throat> so they would have to fend for themselves. So they would leave, they would leave the village. They go, uh, you know, looking for roots and berries. And, uh, you know, they go further and further away looking for this stuff, right? They, you know, they just knew how to find it. Well, one day, they were pretty far out <clears throat> of the village. And the little boy tells his little sister, who was younger than him, Do you want to leave here? We could probably find a lot of food out there for us. And the little girl, being a little girl, said, Sure. She looked up to her brother. She loved her brother. <clears throat> they had each other. So they left. And after a couple days, after three, four days, they came upon a little colt, a little horse. And they went up to that little horse. <clears throat> and that horse was friendly. Little baby horse, little baby colt, little orphan horse too. So they raised that little horse and a little girl would ride that little horse. Well, one day they're walking and they see this lone rider on a hill looking at them and soon that rider was joined by his um his war party and uh, that rider was a chief and the chief was looking down into the valley and he saw these two little little children and so he instructed his uh, braves to go get those children and their horse so they were brought to him and he took them back to his village. And there he raised them and he loved them unconditionally. And taught them the ways. Taught them how to hunt, how to trap, how to fish, you know, how to hunt buffalo. And you know, everything, all the roads that were valuable back then. How to track, you know, how to read the tracks, how to read the signs. Just instructed them in every way possible. And so they grew up in that village. And then one day, they were all grown up. The chief called his children into his teepee and he told them, Okay, it's time for you to go back to your people. And the boy and the, the orphan boy and the orphan girl were so devastated. Why should we go back? This is our home. And the chief told him, Yes, this is your home. But... You need your people need you. We took you into our world, but you need to go back into your world. We are the Buffalo Nation. So you need to walk east. After many days, you'll run into your people. They'll be scared of you because they're not going to recognize you, but you need to tell them who you are. And so with great sadness, you know, lots of love and a lot of tears, uh, the grown-up orphan boy and the grown-up orphan girl, they were very beautiful, by the way, very handsome. The boy grew up to be a very, very fine young man, had nice long hair, just like, just like me. <laughs> just kidding. And the girl grew up to be very beautiful, and they went after many days. Oh, and they brought their horse with them, too. Their horse was a beautiful horse. So they, they walked east. After many days, they saw 
their people. Their people were scared of them, right? You know, times were tough, disease, you know, buffalo herds, you know. And so, <clears throat> so they ran into one tribal member. And that tribal member said, who are you? And so they told him, we're the orphan children. And so they were recognized. Yes, we lost you many, many years ago. You know, all the teasing and all the bullying that you went through. You know, we're very sorry. We thought it, it was that that drove you away. You know, we know. We know you were teased. We know you were bullied. But we, you know, we're very sorry. We thought we lost you many, many years ago. We never stopped searching. So they returned back to their village with great celebration. And, you know, they they were married. So the, the orphan boy became a chief and the orphan girl married. And so they had many children. And they told the people about what they went through, who raised them, about the love and the compassion, never to hurt another human being, because there's laws against that. We call that bastahuin. In, in Cree culture, bastahuin means if you hurt another human being intentionally, intentionally, you know you're hurting them, there's a law in place called bastahuin, and it'll set things right. It's kind of like karma, but not quite. It's a little bit like a, it's a lesson. You have to learn the lesson. If you don't learn the lesson, it'll keep repeating. So it's sad because some people don't learn these lessons, right? So their lives become very, very difficult and very hard. There's another law, which means do not ever hurt another animal, insect, bird, fish. Don't torture it. If you hurt it intentionally, it's called win. <laughs> right? So these were like the laws that these two young people brought back to the people about love and compassion, loving one another, supporting one another, expressing love to each other. Right? And we need to bring that back in today's society. There's too much selfishness. People are too individualistic, you know. So yeah. That's my story for today. It's called Grandfather Buffalo. Thank you for listening. And again, my name is Randy Morin. And it's been an honor telling you these stories. Bye-bye.